Hello. Hello, everyone. We're excited. Uh, yes. We were searching for the extended scenes of the Target ex of the Target exclusive, the Therian chapter, and then we were also looking for the Rune chapter, which we still have not found. Yes, we personally have the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which is which Bryce is and Bryce and Hunt. Which at first we weren't going to do a video on because not that we weren't going to do it, but we were just kind of like, well, I don't know if we need to because it's really nothing. It's just an intimate scene with them, and like because all these extra scenes that are in these books in these exclusive editions at each place is something that's happening. Um, that's like a cut or deleted scene from Correct. inside Previous this books book. or or this so, book yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it so be. it's not like. Um, after everything happened. In and Sky Bryson Breath. Hunt to me wasn't anything like, oh, like this has to be in there. Like when we had Azrael Elaine and Gwen, like it wasn't like that, but people don't have it. So we probably will do a Bryson Hunt uh, video as well. But this one is Therian. So we were at Target. Oh, look, here's the House of Sky and Breath book. And I said, well, it has to be the exclusive edition. And she's like, oh yeah, it's not in here. And then she looks again and she finds one Target exclusive edition. And lo and behold, Therian's chapter was in there. We wanted to read it and we didn't have a lot of time and we wanted to do a video on it. So, we have been trying to look. I have to, I'm really looking yeah, normally for Normally people like start to put like them up. They put them on Tumblr or whatever. So yeah. if anyone has Rune's chapter, send it our way or tell us we can go. Um. So anyways, this was Therian's. And God love Therian because he's so, I just love his personality. He's so funny. He's just, I love his little nicknames he gives. You know, he has legs and he has Hypaxia's packs and yeah. um, uh, Ethan or, or Ethan is like pups. Pup. Yeah, he always has yeah. little nicknames, and they're fun. So anyways, it starts out. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of just give a little brief summary of, like, the first couple chapters. Or not chapters, paragraphs. And then um, we'll go into, I'll read the little um There's a part, memory. yeah, he has, like, a memory, a look back in this chapter. And in this... Who's the memory on? Hypaxia. Hypaxia. So... Which we were kind of reading House of Sky and Breath, I was getting the vibe that he kind of had a thing for her. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's just, we're going to read that part out to you guys, but we're going to summarize before yes. and after. Yes. Which I hope we're allowed to do that, right? Yeah. We can read a little snippet, right? Yeah. We do it every, all the time. It's, we're going to go on from there. So basically it starts out that Therian is going to his office and he has a little otter come, which we love those little otters. Yeah. And this one gives him his card. Okay, so we find out in this little chapter that animals don't have magic except for like a drop, like for example, like a drop, a little drop of the, um, what do you say, like a drop of water to help it. Like Yeah, they have, have a, a little, little bit tiny. of magic in the water, but they really don't possess they don't possess anything. It. Big and so anyways, the but the otter, I'm like, otter, the, the otter can type and write. So I'm like, that's magic enough for me. Yeah. Let's be real. It's an animal. So the animal, the otter writes to him and he says his name or did he give him a card? Either one of them. He and typed his he name. He typed his name and it said his name was Fritz Roy. Um, he had a last name. Do you remember the last name? Fitzgerald Fritz, or something? something like that. Fritz Roy. And he calls him Fitz. And basically he is thinking about right as the otter's getting there, it's kind of saying what he's thinking about and that he is still going to his office to kind of pretend to the River Queen that he's still looking for Emil Renast. So he's kind of playing it like he has to search for him. He has he to keep, has up keep up appearances for the River Queen. That he's Queen. going to the office to, you know, look what's going on with this. And obviously this is now time where he knows that Hunt and, and Bryce have told him that Emil has been found and taken care of and don't worry about finding him anymore. But remember, he wasn't ready to go back to the, to the, the River Queen, the water, yeah. and be stuck there. And so now he has kind of shifted gears. So he is pretending he's looking for Emil, but really he's heard some rumblings about Morgan Thea, which is Hypaxia's, Queen Hypaxia's second in, in command. command. Yes. And he is hearing rumblings that she's no longer content to just sit to the side, that she would like the throne for herself. 
And so, you know, he's captain of, captain of intelligence. So what does he think he's going to do? In he's going to help. Hypaxia. Instead of working on one case, he's switching to another case because he wants to help Hypaxia and find out as much as he can about the witches. And so that kind of leads us to where it's going to go. The Fitz comes and he says, take this note and give it to Queen Hypaxia and only Queen Hypaxia. And Fitz goes off and he does it. He like shakes his head or whatever and he goes. And it starts to make Therian think of his first time meeting Hypaxia. Queen Hypaxia. Like, yeah. It was actually like he a, a, Morgan Thea and uh, yes. Queen um, Hypaxia at the summit. The summit is where all, like, the Autumn King. Hell broke yeah, loose. all these. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, basically. So, but this is where all the, the big wigs are. And, yes, and, and this is the whole leading up. This the, the summit is where, you know, Hunt gets taken and, like, he's captured again by Micah, has him. Bryce, the portals, everything. But before, it's a few, this, the summit's a few days. And so he is at this summit. And this picture he's looking at of Morgan Thea and Hypa Queen Hypaxia is two days prior, I believe it yes. said. And, um, yeah, so this is his, like, first, like, he's seen Hypaxia, but this is his first, like, introduction to Hypaxia. Yes. And one thing he notices in there is um, he, he says, like, when he's looking at Morgan Thea, she's almost cold and, like, um, like off-putting. Where then he looks at Queen Hypaxia and she seems, like, quiet and calm and joy and, like, she's beautiful, obviously. But he notices those traits to her. And basically, then he's at his office and he starts thinking about his first memory of Queen Hypaxia. So I'm going to read this part and then we'll summarize the ending too. Yes. Remember that the summit, his memory. So it says basically at his desk, Therian closed his eyes, letting the memory take over. So exhaustion weighed down his body, his tail as he wended, as he wended between the pillars and grottos of the pools, reveling in the smoothness of his movement. A moment of peace after a day of handling massive egos, and they were his job to handle as the River Queen's daughter certainly hadn't stepped up to the plate. He had no idea why her mother had sent her to the summit at all. And I do remember that. I forgot that she was at that yes. summit with him. Well, there was the obvious reason, which was that the River Queen didn't leave the Istros, but to send her daughter untrained and easily cowed, he supposed that was why... Sorry, it's a little small. He supposed that was why he had been sent with her. He'd done the talking. He had listened to Micah and Sandriel and the Autumn King and Sabine and all those assholes jabber away about war and trade, each trying to one-up the next. He figured he'd let them talk for another few days, let them exhaust each other before making his point and his queen's point known. But just sitting there for hours had drained him. And though he'd been an early morning, uh, though he'd taken an early morning swim to make sure the shift held, he needed this. His love of all things above didn't cancel out his love for what it felt like to be in the water, to move in it, to listen to its currents. Another six days of this hell. I love how they spell hell, H E L, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like our hell. No, it's a different world. Yes. At least he hadn't been able to sit. Athelar, the poor bastard, had been forced to stand in the back all day. He'd been gifted to Sandriel. Um, organists, I cannot say that. Organists have mercy on the mail. There was nothing Therian could do to help him. According to rumors, Bryce Quinlan had offered not only gold, but her very her very life to Sandriel in Huntsteed. Um, Sandriel had turned her down. And in the process, Sandriel had, re had revealed Bryce's secret. Legs was the Autumn King's daughter. While listening to the asshole talk today, Therian had been shocked to realize just how uh, just how many features and expressions the Autumn King and his <laughs> yeah. daughter shared. How he how he had anyone not realized it. Therian shook his head, swimming another loop around the space, luxuriating in the powerful sweep of his tail and the answering ripple of the water, magic in his veins. A faint splash sounded through the water, like something had been dropped. He aimed for the surface, emerging slowly, making hardly a ripple as he peered towards the source uh, of the sound. There, sitting at the pool's edge with her feet in the water, just inside the glass doors to the hall sat Queen Hypaxia. 
He scanned the white, the white tiled space for any hint of her guard, but the witch had come alone. She seemed content to just dabble her feet in the serene pool and lean back against her hands. There was no sign of her cloudberry crown for, or, or fine robes, just a simple white gown as if she were one of Luna's temple virgins. Had she come down here looking for someone or just for solitude? Therian kept to the shadows of the pillars, treading water as silently as he could. He hadn't formally met Hypaxia since the River Queen, since the River Queen's daughter had not formally met her, but he'd seen her during he'd seen her during the procession, the fancy meal afterward, and during the meeting today. She'd been as quiet as she had been, or she'd been as quiet as he had been, listening to the others rather than spewing spewing information. She'd even take or she'd even been taking notes throughout, young but wise. She kicked her feet, splashing, tipping her face to the ceiling, young but wise and beautiful. He knew better than to let her, to let that thought progress, but he couldn't, you know, last time he did that, he ended up in trouble. Yeah. That thought progressed. He slept with the River Queen's daughter yes. and is now married to her. Um, engaged. Or yeah, engaged, sorry. Um, he couldn't, re he couldn't stop himself swimming closer from letting his tail make enough of a splash that she looked his way, eyes wide with alarm. He halted about 10 feet away where the water remained deep enough to allow room for his tail to keep him vertical and gave her a crooked smile. I'd be rather, or I'd be careful putting my feet in water if I were you, he said. Something might bite off those little toes. He <laughs> winked. <laughs> she didn't smile. Just asked sincerely, what might bite them off? He chuckled. I have to admit that I hadn't thought further than the intro line. <laughs> I just love him. He smiled slightly then. I hope I'm not intruding. He waved a hand, or she smiled slightly then. I hope I'm not intruding. He waved a hand at the massive chamber, sprawling into the faded gloom behind him. Benefit to having a space as large as the entire convention center. Little chance for crowding. She stared at him with those large, gorgeous eyes. You are Therian Kitos, the River Queen's captain of intelligence. A lot of people doubt the whole intelligence thing where I'm involved. But yeah, hi. <laughs> he bowed his head. You're a Queen Hypaxia? A shallow nod, her face going a bit distant. I'm sorry about your mother, he added quietly. So am I, she said, but added, thank you. She clearly wanted space and some time alone, but he didn't miss the sorrow in her eyes. The way her shoulders had sagged at the reference to her late mother. If only to get rid of that sadness on her face. How do you think it went? Or how do you think today went? She angled her head as if surprised he opted to continue the conversation rather than swim off and let and let it be polite and let it politely die. I found it enlightening, she said carefully. So diplomatic, he teased and swam closer, leaning an arm against the side of the pool. I found it boring as hell. A lot of a lot of posturing and little substance. Her <laughs> lips twitched upward. Is that your official report as captain of intelligence? My official report is more like windbag leaders blow a lot of hot air while, while fighting over who has the bigger dick. <laughs> she laughed softly, but with, but with real humor. I'm sure your queen will appreciate your keen assessment. He put, his, he put a clawed hand over his heart in self-mockery. She always does. Hypaxia ga Hypaxia's gaze skimmed over the calm, empty water behind him. I was advised to listen first, to evaluate my companions here and then make my opinions known, hence the notes. You were watching, Captain of Intelligence, remember? Oh, hence the notes. And then she says, you were watching, Captain of Intelligence, remember? Unless you were doodling love letters to your handsome fiance. She blushed at that. Queens don't doodle or write love letters. Wrong and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> With a powerful movement of his tail, he leapt beside her onto the edge of the pool, splashing her in the process. Sorry, he said as, as her white gown soaked up the water streaming from him. She waved him off. A little water never harmed anyone. He examined her face for a moment, then asked, how long have you and Rune known each other? That's quite a personal question. He grinned. If you think that's personal, you're in deep trouble. Her lips quirked again, as if she were fighting a, fighting a full on smile. Not long enough. We only known each other casually. He kept his tone plaintful. I maintain a running tally today of how many times he looked at you. You did not. <laughs> I was up to 17 by noon. She let out a laugh then, unleashing that smile. I'm sure you're mistaken. Not a chance. 
Quincy was practically drooling. Another laugh like silver bells. Your trouble. I hear that a lot. <laughs> and Abel's silence fell. Then he asked, you, need, you needed some time to yourself, huh? She resumed idly kicking her bare feet in the water. I spent much of my life at my mother's private keep in the mountains with only my tutors for company. In recent months, I've managed to find a way to ease it into the modern world. But here I found that I must adjust to having so many eyes on me as queen. There, there was a great deal to unpack here. There was a great deal to unpack there. Why did you grow up in, alone in the wilderness? It was my, it was my mother's choice. It was an answer, but her voice was aloof, enough that he knew not to press. She continued, I have unusual gifts, ones that my mother thought best to learn in seclusion. Am I allowed to ask? I would not have mentioned them if you were not, he drawled. So tell me, Pax, what sort of gifts? Her lips quirked upward at the nickname, but she said, oh, I cannot say this that good. Necromancy. Necromancy. I can raise and speak with the dead. Therian let out a, lo a long whistle. <whistles> Colored me impressed. His <laughs> brows so rose. Funny. I thought witches were all house and blood have house of earth and blood, though necromancy necromancy is a flame and shadow gift. My father was a necromancer, she said. I inherited the full the full force of his talents. So you can like really raise the dead? His sister's face flashed through his mind. There are limits, and there and there can be dire consequences, but yes, it is why we mostly stick to speaking with them instead. What happens when the dead comes back? Are they the same? No, if their body has been destroyed, they require a new one, which is disorienting to say the least. And some find that they do not want to be ripped from their eternal lands. I haven't done a true raising though, so I can only tell you what I've learned from my tutors. We operate by a strict moral code, and they made sure I was well schooled in it. There, yes, 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 and yes, Sarah. <laughs> I'm such a good listener. Um, do you guys think from that section alone? I have some Diet Coke, sorry. <laughs> if something's gonna happen to someone, and Hypaxia is gonna have to raise someone from the dead, I do. Because they wouldn't mention it, right? And she's saying that she's never done it before, but she's learned. She's t her well, tutors. Well, she started in um, with Bryce doing certain things in mm -hmm. um, the book. So I think we know. So someone important, something's going to happen. Someone important, I'm betting. Remember, they were trying to uh, reach um, yes. in House of uh, Sky and Breath. Wait. Did I say it wrong? House of Earth and Breath. Yes, Sky and Breath. Who were they trying to reach again? And then, like, she ended up remember, going to... I, I'm just yes. blanking right now. So, yes, I believe that it is setting up for more. Okay, because I was like, okay, yeah, something's going to happen to someone big, and Hypaxia is going to have to raise them, and they're either not going to be the same person, or they're going to have to... I definitely think somebody. Hypaxia is going to have a much larger role coming up. Yes, in I the do next too. Okay, go on. Okay, so she basically says she was schooled in it. And he says, they're necromancers? No, they're ghosts. Therian, start, Therian started, excuse me? <laughs> Very ancient ghosts. My mother thought it best that they, that my mother thought it best they'd be the ones to teach me. Not just about necromancy. I'm so sorry if I say that wrong. But about everything a queen needs to know. His mind reeled. Necromancers were, weren't common, but they weren't unheard of either. For the witch queen to be one, though, that would have been interest uh, would have been interesting implications. Is this knowledge secret? No. Some in my coven. Um, did I say it right? Coven. Coven. Sorry. Some in my coven wish it were, but I'm not ashamed. I have no or is reason. It coven. No, no, no. <laughs> it's coven. Coven. Yeah. <laughs> I have no reason to hide the skill. It works hand in hand with my healing abilities. Life and death. Exactly. That companionable silence fell again, and Therian switched his tail in the water. She asked. Do you prefer your mer form or the humanoid one? No one has ever asked me that. Is it private? No, I just, he considered. I don't know the answer. She studied him. Like she could see the part of him and sometimes only race back to the water because he had to. Wait, did I say that right? She, um, she studied him. Like she could see the part of him that sometimes only raced back to the water because he had to, not because he wanted to. He tried not to shift under, under that gaze and turn the focus back to her by asking, do you, prefer to be, do you prefer being on land or flying on your broom? She was having none of it. That's not the same thing. 
But if you must know, I prefer to fly. She gestured to the, bro the, the, bro the brooch, shaped like a lush-bodied cathona on her shoulder. My broom is as easy to summon as your, as your fins. I find that I can sometimes hear it calling to me, that I can hear the wind itself calling to me, beckoning me to ride its dips and swells. There's a freedom and quiet in doing so. She gave him a knowing look. I suspect you weren't swimming down here for a, I suspect you were swimming down here for a similar reason. Young and wise indeed. Swimming about makes me feel so idle, he, protest, uh, he protested. How about prowling the waters instead? <laughs> Again, that slight smile, prowling the waters then. He rubbed the back of his neck. I needed some time to decompress, he admitted. I'm, uh, I'm engaged to the River Queen's daughter. He so, rare, he so, so rarely ever spoke the words aloud. It comes with perks, yeah, but also a lot of obligations on a daily basis. Enough of them that. He cut himself off before he said too much. But from the gleam in her eye, he knew the witch, the, he knew the witch queen read the unspoken words. That it was a huge mistake for me to, to make, or that it was a huge mistake for me to make in the first place. But beyond that, I just needed to think over all the crap the windbags at the summit said today. When I do speak, I shall make sure to impress you. You've already impressed me, and then some packs. He, how many young rulers would share things with him like this? Guarded, yes, but still open, friendly. If she'd been surrounded by ghosts her whole life, he didn't blame her for wanting, for wanting some living companionship. But the queen was still different from the timid river queen's daughter, from the preening fey rulers, from the, from the glower, the glower, the glowering archangels. A sort of clarity glowed in her eyes that he couldn't turn away from which was precisely why he jumped back into the water, trying not to splash her. When he emerged, slicking, slicking back his hair, he said, well, I need to sleep. Got to be alert for more dick swinging tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you referring to yourself or the others? She said it so coolly that he burst out laughing. Good night, Pax. She blushed and Therian swam a few feet away. Good night. Or, uh, good night, he said. See you bright and early, he replied and dove beneath the water. He aimed for his own sleeping pod across the space, and even when he knew he'd swum deep and far enough for her not to see him, he could have sworn he felt the witch's gaze lingering. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as it goes on, after he's he's thinking of her memory, he still memorize like it's the memory is done of that specific encounter specific encounter, but he still goes on in the the next couple um, paragraphs saying how he remembered how, as they as the summit went on, you know like he did like cute little things like he would hold up to Hypaxia through the summit meetings like he would hold up little papers of how many times Rune was staring at yeah. her. And, <laughs> and she would like wave him off and, 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 and smile and smile and blush. Being a little and then, flirt. Yeah. Well, and he is one. And remember Rune, when he first saw her, like he even says in the book was like, she's beautiful. And like, yeah. he even said like, he was thinking maybe I should make it work or whatever with hypoxia. So I'm sure Rune was really staring at her. Yeah. It was future intended. And like, and here's Therian would hold up papers for her. And she'd just smile, wave them off. <laughs> and at night, every night, she'd go back down and they would talk at night at the water. And he felt at the end of this that they would they were becoming friends the mm -hmm. night of the demon invasion. And he felt that it was something that they did. They talked about the day. They talked about whatever was going on, all the boring stuff of what the summit was or whatever it may be. So he felt like they became friends. And the night of the demon invasion he almost started to wonder, was it her coven? Her that, traitorous their coven. Their tra traitorous coven that maybe had something to do with the demon invasion. And so he now kind of wanted to look into it. And that, yeah. So that's a part of why he's looking into That is Fina. where it kind of starts to take place, why he's now not really looking for Emil anymore. He's using him as the cover, but is now really looking into the witches. So this is going to start taking place, I think, in the next books. So we're going to start to hear a little bit more about these witches, which I loved in Throne of Glass, the witches. I thought that was fun. So I'm excited to get back to that because I think this will be really fun to like get into that and see yeah. what's really going on. So as he's thinking about it, I kept it up here. Um, the otter Fitz comes back with the message, a reply from Queen Hypaxia to his written message that he sent to her. And he had written, I meant what I said earlier. I've got your back. 
If you need me to deal with your coven, I will. No questions asked. I know a lot of hungry river beasts. <laughs> Just so Therian. She replied, you are a good friend. Thank you. He frowned a bit at this at the short, impersonal reply, but then saw postscript, she added. P.S. Looks like we'll be back to dealing with <laughs> looks like we'll be back to dealing with the dick swingers. And he laughed and tucked the note in his pocket. And then basically he says that um, he talks to Fitz and Fitz hands him, you know, the otter, a little thing. Like, if you need a personal messenger, you know, I yeah, have I'll work rates. for you. Yeah, I'll work for you. Yeah. I don't take holidays off. And he's like, oh, you know, I like that. Thank you. Yeah. And so he, he pockets it. And basically at the end of it is him thinking if something is going on with the coven and against <laughs> Got tired for a second. Sorry. Excuse, excuse us. <laughs> um, if, some, if something is going on with the Kevin and with Queen Hypaxia, then he would do anything. He'd risk basically everything he had. He to says that to her. He sa it says it in the her. end of the book that he was willing to risk everything he has to, to help, help her and Hypaxia. help her. So there it goes. So here it goes. You know, after House of Sky and Breath, you know, there's theories out there galore right now. And some people were hearing, which we'll touch bases on this, like, especially as more and more theories and get more in depth and stuff. But one of the theories is that is Therian going now that we have opened the portals, is Therian and Gwen going to be mates? It could be. I'm not saying no. Or is Hypaxia, this is setting up almost that Hypaxia in Therian. Now, okay. Hypaxia, we find out, is in love with Celestina. Celestina. They are, before Celestina had to um, get mated to, I cannot remember the name. Who is she getting I, mated I, to? I, I, I can't don't remember. remember. But <laughs> they kind of had to separate. Now, they weren't mates necessarily, so they may have loved each other or chosen love, but now it's kind of like they can't do anything about it. So will her feelings start to grow for Therian. Therian. And maybe they're mates. I mean, we know Therian has a little bit of a crush on her. So, I mean, he's flirty. But... <laughs> I mean, he flirts with her. Yeah. Her, but, but, I mean, yeah. it was written for a purpose. It's like you go back to the Asriel and Gwen chapter. It's... Is it to throw us off? I don't know. This True. Me... Like, we don't know. But to me, I feel like this might not be a throw off. This might be more, I don't know. Or cause she could always deny him. He could always really like her, and she's like, I'm sorry, I, you know, I love someone else, or... Yeah. Maybe they're mates. That's what I was just saying. Maybe it's oh. hypoxia <laughs> and variant. Sorry. Yeah, sometimes we, like, we talk, <laughs> and we're in our own heads, and we're thinking that we miss what the other person says. We do oh. that a lot, but, you know, sometimes yeah. you go, I said that, but you didn't listen to That's me. That's true. Sometimes I have to excite up. Sometimes delete, I have to cut, because like, oh, we wait. say the same thing, <laughs> and I'm like... I just said that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. This is just going to open up. But I am excited for more witches. Yeah, that I was fun to learn fun. about. See, I haven't read Throne of Glass yet, so I haven't really learned She's about the witches. But I've known about them, but I haven't really learned. So it was fun to read about Hypaxia. Um, and we haven't, even, we haven't even delved into witches. Really yeah, Hypaxia. and her this power of being start. able to talk to the dead mm -hmm. and then raise them. That's a big power. So, I mean, I second Therian's, you know, thing he said about how, wow, that's really impressive because yeah, that is impressive. I think it'll just be fun, though, to delve deeper into all the characters. Of, and, you know, sometimes uh, the witches are nice and, like... Yeah, and, you know, Sarah, And she's raised by ghosts, and so that's the other thing. Oh, yeah. We did summarize, and he's like... She tells him she's raised by ghosts, he's like, you're what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> raised by ghosts. It's, it's fun because... You know, Sarah really throws us off, like, like she talked about the Gwen and Therian. and I was like, well, I, you know, like, okay, yeah, they're both. I mean, it could in make the water, sense. You know, she's yeah. a, she's a quarter nymph, right? So we'll touch on those theories. Yeah, but it's fun. But yeah. she throws us all off like, with everything. Maybe it's not going to be that. Like, it's just like it's so crazy. How many ways is book? I go? can't wait to get to room. I can't wait to get to room. Are you okay? <laughs> daughter she peeked around the court and she scared, she scared me. you <laughs> i told you guys to stay away <laughs> you're scaring us <laughs> she peeked around the corner and it scared me because i was expecting it um 
but yes yeah, so I mean it's just it's it's crazy how we're just I really don't well, think we know another <laughs> another one that it could go anyway so anyways we hope you enjoyed Darian's um ex a, a, ex what was it extended, extended scene. scene or deleted deleted scene. scenes extended scene point of view and um anyways if you guys have rune let us know we will we will do a bryson hunt coming up soon yes anyway we'll talk to you to you soon we have another video to film and anyway subscribe and like we would love it bye